<laughs> funny. Okay, that's not funny. Hey everyone, SMG here. Welcome back to another Brandon Rogers reaction. This one is called Normal British Series Episode 1, Being Normal. Let's get into this right now. It's been a while since I've seen a Brandon Rogers video or reacted to one, so let's check this out. It's going to be really long. It's going to be 18 minutes long, so let's get into this. I'm going to try and make this as short as possible if I can. Go watch the original video, go subscribe to Brandon Rogers, make sure you like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, and share if you like my reaction, and let's get it in 3, 2, 1, let's go! So tell me, what's it all worth it? Is that a serious question? A few months ago, I was nobody! I spent half my life working as an accountant for a tile company. Didn't have a girlfriend, didn't have ambitions. I mean, how could I when I'm pulling 50 hours a week to pay for a house I couldn't afford to live in? Dang. So one night I decided I was gonna check out early, right there, right on the front porch for everyone to see. And then I was saved. By junk mail. Mail. That? Mail well, saved them from suicide. Save, but now, to the warm sandy beaches of Matawai. Yeah, fucking my wife. A little bit of quick cash, just enough cash to get myself on my feet and start a new life somewhere else. So I decided to pay a visit to my high school bully, Bernard Bunker. He made six figures, had a nice house, beautiful wife. He was the kind of guy who could afford to lose a little bit of quick cash. Oh boy. That's all I intended to get that evening, just a little bit of quick cash, nothing more. You know this one, babe? I don't know this one, babe. You're opening up to new ideas. He's a fucking swan, you idiot. <laughs> Time, bitch! Oh. Are you fucking kidding me? It was a fucking book. Ever read one? God, who even fucks you people? Does no one. Have more alcohols? Heck yes. Hey, why don't you go grab us a six-pack, honey? I'll grab one if you grow one. <laughs> I fucking hate that B, C, and F word. <laughs> Um... Adrian Gelson, from high school. Oh, yeah! I knew I smelled piss. Just take off the mask, man. Uh. Ooh, got some bags over there. I thought you'd be like an accountant to like a tile company, not robbing your own classmates with a toy gun. <laughs> funny. Okay, that's not funny. Jesus Christ! What have you done to my wife? You have a wife? All right, shitheads! Everyone empty your goddamn wallet so this bitch gets fucked! I said empty your wallet! Uh, you don't empty your wallet! Sorry, uh, no, I'm sorry. Are we really Are we robbing the same fucking house? Ooh, we bought the same fucking mask. God. From the freaky dinky Halloween, Halloween boutique, boutique on Wilshire, 50% off? 50 off. <laughs> uh, oh. Okay, okay, damn. What the fuck? I was staring at this beautiful creature I'd never seen before in my life represented everything I thought I didn't deserve, primarily... And that's how he got the British wife. It's only about $30, but it's all I have. And take my car keys, too. And my gun. Just, please. Take me. We said empty your wallet! 
So I said, fuck Maui. A life of crime with this woman was the jolt I needed. This is what true love looks like. <laughs> okay. We even went ahead and changed our identities. Adorable couple. Normal bridge series. <laughs> they always change their identities no matter what. It wasn't long before I knew there was no other person I'd want to settle my life with. So I needed to find me a ring and fast. Oh my god. Do you take this woman to be your lovely bride? I do. And do you take this man to be your husband? I do. And do you want to give us your money? I do. Ah! I hear what you're saying. I'm just, there has to be more to this life than just robbing and killing and then swapping identities, right? Like what? The boring shit you do before this? All I've done is a life of crime. And that never burnt you out? I mean, I, I love doing this with you. But is it just this? I mean, forever? You know, I have to say, your man has a point, my dear. That doesn't sound like the register being empty, you bitch! The register is empty. I'm broke. Oh. Uh. Uh, can I have my coffee? Yeah, me too. You know, I can help it over here, your problems. Seems like your life is a little too boring. And your life is just a little <laughs> too extreme. You ever thought about living a normal life? See how that work out? Of course we want a normal life. But when, when you've racked up as many crimes as I have, you're lucky to get a week out of a new identity without the cops being right back up your ass like dicks. What if I said I have a friend of a friend who can set you up with a new life, one final permanent identity in a town where nobody will come looking for you? And this is how, this is her backstory. She says, who's your friend? I will grab her. All righty. I'm Melissa, a totally different girl with dreams of being a Hollywood star. It's another but identity. Yeah. We don't have time for this B plot. I heard you want to meet the sacred one who can change your identity forever. Yes, yes, of course. We just need to tip the waitress before we leave. The waitress is going to be back. <laughs> All right, let's go see the sacred room. Oh, I, I thought Melissa was going to take us. What's wrong with her? I don't know. She was just in a great mood. Now are you ready to meet the sacred one? Let's do it. Good. Oh, wait, there's something. Get it. What the hell is happening? Oh, they're going underground. The sacred one will see you now. Thank you. Thank you. Just this way. Oh, this room is so yellow. Yellow, it's just messing up my eyes. But it, it's all right. <laughs> all right, the white room is uh still messing up my eyes a little bit, but it's it's all right. <laughs> Please have a seat, bitches. So the two of you fucked up in this life and want a shot at another one. We would. Yeah. Well, we'd like a, a less crazy life. Not that I'm upset with the life we have now. Can you get the cops off our ass or not? Even better, I can provide you with a fresh start in the town called Clamville. Clamville? You bet, bitch! A town so Caucasianly privileged, they say a cop has a step foot in there in the last 30 years. Even the most wanted murderers can live there. Free interesting. Because no one's going to go Very, there very there. interesting. Because no one there is bad. And if you do this for us, what do you want in return? Five million dollars. Five million. 
There's no way in hell this is five million dollars. Well, fuck me in the ass, this is five million dollars. Holy crap, they actually got that amount of money. Now let's make you both who you're gonna be for the rest of your lives. <laughs> You are no longer Adrian and Everly Darling. Those assholes are dead. You are now Mr. and Mrs. Gallagher, residents of Primrose Drive with trust fund money they can't wait to settle down with. Now they're different people. Way, way different people. They got a brand new house. They're gonna live a normal life now. Now, a warning. Now, a warning? This is your permanent and final identity. If you become anyone else, I will find you and I will kill you. Oh, so you do have a kid, right? Because Clamville only accepts families. Just left it in the car. Thank God you got one. Mm -hmm. It looks alive. <laughs> By the way, you're southern. Oh, we just left it in the car. We just, we just left it in the car. Uh, uh, the car. The car. Here we are, sweetheart. Home sweet home. I love you, Mr. Gallagher. And I love you, Mrs. Gallagher. Ooh, don't start fucking just yet. Sorry, who, who the hell are you? I'm someone else. A realtor with a name. Oh. <laughs> Here's the key to your new home. I just need you to confirm who you are. Well, we're Mr. and Mrs. Gallagher. I don't believe you were given first names. You are. Yeah. Oh. Do -do -do. oh, and I suggest you make friends with the neighbors. I heard they're really judging. You little shit! I'm a change your identity next. Oh boy. So we got to work trying to befriend the neighbors. Well, howdy doody. We just moved in down the street there. Okay uh, then. Yeah, the neighbors already hate them. We're straight. We're Caucasian. We brought you some flowers. You took those from our front yard. <laughs> yep. We're the nicest people on the block. And don't listen to that geriatric bitch, Queen Elizabeth II, who wasn't even good enough to be the first. If you vote for me this November. Oh, not her. <laughs> the president. <laughs> keep those queers out where they belong. In Canada. Not the shit off. Well, at least we have each other. Canada's Canada. my home place. Don't be mean to Canada. Yeah, I think that's a candelabra you got there. Oh, well, then what did I put on the panel? <laughs> well, at least none of the neighbors like us. They'll never know we're bad parents. <laughs> <laughs> howdy, howdy. We brought foodie. Who the fuck are you people and how did you get in our house? We're the stencils. Your front door was unlocked. And your back door. And the side. Oh, ha, ha. What is this, some lame attempt? Hilarious. Hey, I don't think you understand, fella. We are the new neighbors, not you. Oh, uh, we moved in a week ago. And we moved in last night. <laughs> right across the street from you. This is our forever home. Is it yours as well? Of course not. Cindy, look how young they are. They never settle so soon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's impossible. This is Clamville. No one knows um. Clamville, do they, Roy? No. Ah, <gasps> no one to death. Son of a bitch! Debbie, take off that mask! Debbie. Give? <laughs> Jeez Louise, little Debbie, you can't be touching people shit like this. What the hell's wrong with you? We're sorry. We know she looks like an adult, but she has one of those Benjamin Buttons diseases. Her body ages really fast. Ooh. Pweeny wing. Oh my god, I saw the whole thing and I'll go to the cops. <laughs> oh boy, PTSD. Okay, bye now. We suspect she'll be in a retirement home by Christmas. We just adopted her yesterday, and she insisted on moving here. We're just trying to give her the best possible life she can have. What the fuck, Debbie? I'll give you a reason to mess your real prayers, you ungrateful bitch! You love her Jesus Christ, night. Debbie. Oh, well, Ooh, yeah. actually, well, okay. We'll see you at eight. Eat something beforehand. Ooh, well, you see eight o'clock is a bad Debbie, thing. grab your shit, we're going! We can't go over there. I mean, those two are definitely cops, right? Oh, they're definitely cops. Which is maybe why... Hear me out. What if we did go over there? Are you kidding me? Well, it looks like we got a hell of a lot to hide if we say no. 
Oh boy, what's going on? I guess they're going for dinner. Interesting. So, uh, that'll be dinner. She makes the best dinner. <laughs> so you were saying? I, I, I can't, I, I don't know. Hope you're hungry. <laughs> well, shit in my pants, this looks mighty good. Then dig in. This looks in interesting. Uh, and what is this? Dinner, dinner silly. Me no want dinner. all. Me want candy. God damn it. I can't you believe I said some stupid shit my old friend of friends. Friends. So how did you two meet? On a tanner, at a cocktail party. At the party. store. Christian, Christian Mingle. Mingle. A biker bar? You already matched. Oh, thank God. Oh, sorry, this whole new being a parent thing is really taking the toll on my brain. Oh, speaking, speaking of which, where's that little baby of yours? Oh, there's a babysitter. I'm sorry, where's the baby? He is a baby. Ah! Get me back! Do you want to come upstairs and play dollies with me? We're in the middle of dinner, sweetie. It's important for her to socialize. <clears throat> okay, let's go see your dog. Thank you, sweetie. I love you, I love you. So, you into NASCAR? Mm-hmm. Oh, he can NASCAR is every detail okay, I about guess. NASCAR. <laughs> and I will. It was I have nothing against it. Wow, I love your bedroom, little Debbie. You moved in so quickly. I'll take that pretty wing now, please. Seeing this doesn't belong to you. Hotel yeah, this doesn't look good. I'm a cop. I'm a cop. I'm a cop. He's a cop. I'm a cop. I'm a cop too, and we both know what you did. We both know you're criminal. Let's go let's go let's go. And that's why I'll never drive stick. Please <laughs> <laughs> excuse me kindly, I have to go and um take shit. Oh. Oh. Where's your nearest toilet? It's down the hall to the left. No, she, she said, said down, down the hall. Down the, not upstairs. That would there... mean upstairs where they're from. Please don't shoot me. You wouldn't hurt a baby now, would you? <gasps> you would. No, you no, dropped the baby. Me. I don't even know where my husband got this. Silly Still baby. even a horrible parent. From my employer. Perhaps you've heard of Queen Elizabeth? The third? The second. Oh, she's, she's still doing, doing it. it. She was here in the States to interview me for a bodyguard position, which turned into a bounty hunter position the moment she was assaulted while enjoying a day at the park. The queen instructed me to track down you and your ugly husband to reclaim what's hers. I knew the three of you smelled like bullshit. Oh no, the pair of tits downstairs are exactly who they say they are. A couple of idiots dumb enough to believe that I was a child. When really, I just needed any mm -hmm. family to get me into this shitty town. I mean, they were just trying to get the ring back, this. so... Okay, well, well, you have what you need. Just let us go, and we won't speak about this to anyone. Oh, sorry, hon. But you crossed the queen. And that's an offense punishable by... I'm death. sorry, I'm so sorry! You did I did. What's going on up there, kids? Can't all be taking dumps. Oh shit. Grab the oh, ring and go. You. You're gonna have to grab the ring. Oh wonderful, you're still watching. That means I can invite you to my detention tour. That's right, I'm coming to Boston and New York and the Red Bank. Oh, and Philly. And you Brandon Rogers is doing your tour, Rogers I guess. Live.com. And now he's the most important get your thing tickets, I've ever uh... told anybody. Did you know that? Stupid fucking <laughs> Kill Helen. To be continued. All right, guys. Um. Well, they're gonna have to like get that ring and get out of here. They just killed the uh, the daughter or the undercover queen. <laughs> Und undercover uh, girl who is like helping the queen, I guess. Anyways, guys, go watch the original video. Go subscribe to Brendan Rogers. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe, ring the bell, and share if you like my reaction. And I'll see y'all in the next video. There, guys. Thanks for watching, and deuces.